14, you have to make noise. So what your president told me about the class of 2014. You guys are really smart. That's good. So what your president told me is that most of you were born with a silver spoon in your mouth. That most of you, you don't have to work to put yourself through school. That you have a family that funds your education. And that the fact is, is that here in Lowell, the weather is like this every day of the year. So clearly she's told me a lot of truths about you. What I want to talk about is in part my journey, but at the same time, talk about how when I went to undergrad at Brown University and then ended up right here in Massachusetts at, at, at Harvard and doing a, a joint degree, I came from a public school that nobody from my school had ever gone to an Ivy League college. And when I would tell people that I wanted to ultimately go to Harvard, they would laugh in my face. Last April, Sergeant Toll and his SWAT team were one of the first units that was summoned to Boston to help respond to the cowardly attacks at the finish line of the Boston Marathon. When the community of Watertown came under siege by urban terrorists, Sergeant Toll and the members of the Nemlik SWAT team were the one team who had to conduct the dozens of searches house to house for one of the suspects. Everyone here has seen and heard the story of the heroes from throughout those historic five days last Amazing April. Amazing place to get back in education-wise. Middlesex is not sink or swim. This place really puts the community in community college. I've had a helping hand and a smiling face at every step of my educational journey. I've had access to a Veterans Resource Center, specialized tutoring center, disability support, and even an adult learning center place is so key in the success of the diverse body of Middlesex students. I was confident from the start that this place was well equipped to take care of its students, and for this, I am eternally grateful. And yet, even with all the support, I was extremely nervous about returning to school. I was a few years older, and had experienced things that made me very different from my idea of the average college freshman. I was very concerned about fitting in. What if I'm not cool? <laughs> Luckily, after my first semester, I was hired as a peer tutor, which really helped break me out of my shell. And now, as many visitors to the Bedford Math Center can tell you, I'm a regular fixture. Some even joke that I live there.